The media and Democrats continuing their fear campaign over former President Trump as we reach the final two weeks before the election. Yes, I do believe that Donald Trump is unstable, increasingly unstable, and unfit to serve. The fact of the matter is, this is a dangerous person, this is a stupid person, and that's a bad combination. This is somebody who wants unchecked power. We do not need to see what an older, loonier Donald Trump looks like with no guardrails. Donald Trump is the stupidest and most dangerous presidential candidate in history. He is a menace to democracy. He's threatening to sick troops on protesters. He is a genuine threat to our democracy. And that's not hyperbole. That is a God's truth. And that was all of about Joe's campaign from the get-go. But Jonathan Turley, the law professor, points out in a brand new op-ed in the New York Post, the voters just aren't buying it. And Jonathan joins us right now from Ohio. Uh, good morning to you, professor. Thank you. Hi, Steve. Uh, uh, in that little soundbite montage, they're pulling out all the stops. You elect Donald Trump, it's the end of America as we know it. It is. This is sort of panic politics with sort of a Halloween flair that, you know, something wicked this way comes. And, you know, if you vote against me, you are voting against democracy and life as you know it. Right. What's missing from this is any sense of history and any sense of constitutional law. We, for over two centuries, we have the oldest and most stable democratic system in the history of the world. We have gone through wars and economic crises and social crises, and we're still here. It's a system designed to last because we have overlapping safeguards and checks and balances and a tripartite system. All of that has to fail uh, for these dire apocalyptic predictions to come true. And what's, what's dangerous about this is that the panic politics is designed to distract voters, to say that no matter what else is bothering you, right. uh, vote for your own life because you're looking at the end of democracy and your way of life unless uh, Harris is elected. Sure. And this was the theme when it was Joe Biden. Uh, the cam campaign said, OK, we've got January 6th. We're going to we're going to remind people about January 6th. And they have done that. Uh, and much to their horror, there's uh, Jonathan, there's a brand new uh, Washington Post poll that came out in the last week or so. Who would do a better job against threats to democracy in the United States? And Donald Trump is actually beating Kamala Harris. And that could be one of the reasons why uh, she's going to make her closing argument on Tuesday at the Ellipse. And she's going to say, and this is where Donald Trump stood on January 6th. And we know what happened that day. That's what she's going to say. Yeah, and what's interesting, Steve, is that an earlier poll when Joe Biden was still the nominee had the same result, that they thought that that Trump rather than Biden uh, would be a better protection of, of the democracy. And the problem here is that the American people have an innate sense of when they're being played for chumps. It's not that the decision is easy for them between Trump and Harris, but they don't buy it. They don't buy that after this long two centuries of successful democracy, it's all going to come to an end unless Harris is elected president. And But they're doubling down uh, because they, this is the only thing they want to talk about. They're going to try to win an election based on abject fear with a mix of illusory joy. And so far, that hasn't tracked with the voters. But as a legal matter, it borders on constitutional defamation. You know, you, there's a lot of complaints you can make about our system. But the one thing you can recommend it is we're still here. It's a system designed right. by James Madison to last. And, you know, when, when, when Obama says he's going to get unchecked power, you're, you're left scratching your head. We have a system of checks and balances. We have a tripartite system. Uh, that is designed to prevent that. Where's all that going to go? Where are all the judges and yeah. members of Congress going to go when tyranny takes its hold because Harris is not elected president? All right, uh, Professor, thank you very much uh, for putting it exactly like that. Uh, for people who would like to read his op-ed, go to NewYorkPost.com. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.